How's it going crew? This is Happy Days and welcome back to our Terraria 1.4 Master Mode Let's Play. And as you can see guys, we're heading straight to the ocean today because we are going to jump straight into a boss battle. So let us set our spawn point. So we've got a big episode coming up. I want to tackle the Empress of Light and see if we can defeat her. But I thought first, uh, let's take on Duke Fishron and see if we can get some more weapons for the battle. So I'm actually going to go with Ranger setup for this. I want to make Master Ninja Gear, but we'll use our Shield of Cthulhu. See how we go. We've got a bunch of buff potions. Might turn Golem off just so I don't overload my buff bar. And uh, as you can see, I've got some Truffle Worms ready. Uh, so let's see how we go here. I'm going to rely on my Tactical Shotgun. 3, 2, 1. Let's get our Fishing Rod in the water. And we'll see how we go against the Fish Rod. So what I want to do for this fight is... Uh, I've loaded my tactical shotgun with chlorified bullets. So as you remember, in our last episode, I farmed up a bunch of chlorified. Uh, and I had some left over, so I'm like, okay, that's going to be pretty useful to use for chlorified bullets. So as you can see, it's not dealing tons of damage, but it is uh, good in the sense it auto-aims. Uh, chlorified bullets uh, definitely auto-aim. I really need to consider uh, getting that crimson biome set up. Uh, so I can get some I-Core for perhaps making um, a Golden Shower because, like, Fishron is... Most bosses are vulnerable to I-Core. Uh, so I could be dealing more damage. But as you can see, so far, so good. I mean, I can chuck in some Magnet Spheres for a little bit more damage, but I think really our our best strategy here is just to, just to keep auto-firing this Tactical Shotgun. It's doing all right. I think it's just gone second form. Okay, beautiful. Maybe I should have zoomed out for this fight, but we'll see how we go. I think the, the difficult part here is going to be the final form. Oh my gosh, look at that damage. I'm going to throw a heal straight on and get that timer working straight away. And this is why I reference maybe getting ninja gear. Uh, the dash is a lot better with Master Ninja Gear. Um, Shield of Cthulhu can be a little bit short, so we'll see how we go anyway. Or even a... Um, I may need to even think about trying to get a uh, Rod of Discord as well. That would help out as well. Oh, goodness. Oh, no. The platforms are just a tiny bit not tall enough. All right. I'm 30 seconds off of here. Okay. We're at the last part of the fight. I'm going to throw my map on so I can see Fishron's icon. Uh, and that may help me avoid a little bit. One cool thing about Shield of Cthulhu, you can dash into Fishron. Uh, you'll notice I just avoided damage when I dashed near him. Uh, you actually get an immunity frame if you dash at the right moment. So, yeah, I'm kind of... I know I'm aiming pretty badly. Yes, we did it. Oh, goodness. Uh, yeah, Shield of Cthulhu is amazing. If you double dash, uh, or if you dash into a melee enemy like Fishron, you can avoid uh, a, a melee attack. So, definitely worthwhile. Okay, so we got some potions, got our treasure bag. Oh, gosh. What do we want out of our first one? Here, I'll just take... I wish you could turn off the Shroomite armor and making your character disappear. It's so annoying. Oh, gosh. And I will remember to put my helmet on to long fans of the channel because I normally forget it with this. Uh, I would like Flare on, maybe Razor Blade Typhoon. Uh, let's see what we get. Three, two, one, boom! Oh, bu oh, bubble gun. It's not too bad. I don't mind it. I could. So I actually brought... Oh, goodness. I don't have my mage armor. So... I think this might be worth uh, the change, guys. So if we go back over here, I reckon it might be worth trying mage. Just all the fish run weapons are so useful. Where did I put the healing hat? Okay, let's get that. Beautiful. Is Shrimpy Truffle better than this mount? I don't know. I think this mount might be better than Shrimpy Truffle. Uh, unless I make a water arena. So what we'll do, guys, let's put a... Let's put some reforging straight on this. Uh, what do I want? Mystic. I think I can do better. Uh, so a modifier 12. Masterful. Yeah, I'll take that. That's fine. Uh, so let's go to Mage and let's have another fight against the Fishron. Okay, here we are back at the beach and you'll notice I've zoomed out for this one, guys. I just want to make sure that uh, Bubble Gun has a short um, attack range. So I want to make sure that I've got I can sort of know where I need to dodge in advance and whoa look at the damage difference This is huge. 
Oh, and I turned my heart statue off. Oh my gosh, Happy, what are you doing? Okay, I should be able... Quick, 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 quick. Yeah, beautiful, beautiful. We did it, people. The system works. So as you can see, uh, farming Fishron is so much easier once you get some of Fishron's weapons. Oh goodness, can I get in close to get a quick... Maybe that was greedy. Uh, the cool thing about using... Oh goodness. Um, the good thing about Bubble Gun is Fishron charges straight into the bubbles. So you literally... He's damaging himself. I think, is he going final form? I think he's just about to, so... I'm saying it like it's a Dragon Ball Z episode. This is my final form. <laughs> oh, gosh. Okay. Yeah, this is so much easier with Bubble Gun. So, I don't know. Maybe we... Oh, goodness. Ouch, ouch. This damage. You can only get hit, like, two or three times, I reckon. And then, then you're just toast. So, yeah. That was huge. Okay. Much, much better with Bubble Gun. I, I think it's also the higher base damage as well. So, let's put that down. Uh, if you remember my Christmas series, I did live streaming. Did we get bubble gun over and over? I can't quite remember. Oh, we'll have to put that trophy up too. All right, let's see what we get. Hopefully something different. Three, two, one, boom. No, no, no. The curse is back. Are you for real? I don't want more bubble guns. How many did we get in the Christmas series? Was it like three or four of them? I can't even remember. So what I'll do, guys, now I'll farm the rest, the other five fish runs, and then we'll open up all the loot at once, and we'll see what we get our hands on. Let's zoom ahead. Ah, uh, fish run farming is complete, and getting this bubble gun made a big difference. Hello, Seagull. <laughs> Sorry, Seagull. Yeah, the bubble gun made a huge difference. Oh, full moon. I'm definitely gonna have to farm for a moon charm if I want to make celestial shell. So we managed to get the pork of the sea, which is the fish run pet, so that's kind of cool. I like how we're getting new pets as we go. I might save one of the relics to take back to base, and then we'll put all that random stuff in the box. So, I think for items, I would really like a Flareon, Tsunami, and a Razor Blade Typhoon. No more bubble guns. <laughs> Fingers crossed. Maybe even the wing. I want everything. Anyway, let's just spam them open. Are you ready, guys? Three, two, one. Boom, 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 boom. Okay, let's just put them in the box, and then we'll sort of see. What, what did we get here? Okay. I got fish on wings. Beautiful. We got the bubble gun. Not good. Oh, I think we got everything. We got razor blade typhoon. <gasps> we got everything we wanted. That is insane. Oh my gosh. Thank you so much, treasure bags. So this, this, I'm not sure what's going to be good for Empress of Light. So now we've got like lots of different options. Plus fish on wings are so much faster uh, than uh, the, the Mothron wings. So that's a huge upgrade as well. And that's probably going to be better than our Magnet Sphere. So guys, we still got some upgrades to do before we fight Empress of Light. So let's wait for morning and plan our next move. Okay, people, we are on a quest to try and defeat the Empress of Light and maybe even tackle the day battle to get the Terra Prisma. I would love to use it with a summoner build. That would be amazing. Now, because I am a silly chicken and I always forget stuff, I forgot to mine up the Lizard Altar before I left here. Uh, because I could have done that and then fought Golem at my base or my arena, but whatever, it's fine. So, oh, there's a Mimic. Hello, Mimic. Did you drop something nice? No, I don't really need a jewel hook. Uh, so let's see, where's the button for the heart thingies? Okay, so I think now we've got fish run equipment. This is going to be a bit of a stomp. So I have five of the power cells, and because of our arena, I can catch the lace wings really easy. We, our, our arena is a hello biome, so, and they've been spawning more in a recent update, so they're easy to catch. So what we're going to do, let's see, let's go maybe Razor Blade Typhoon, 3, 2, 1, boom. So all I need to do is farm a few quick golems. I want to get my hands on a Sunstone to go with the Night Stones, Moonstones I got from the Solar Eclipse. And that's because Celestial Shell is another one of those great all classes items that will buff all of the classes we're using because we're swapping quite a bit. As you can see, I've got nearly like every class's weapons in my inventory. So, yeah, actually, I do have all classes' weapons. And our new Eye of Cthulhu uh, that I haven't used. Happy Don't Die. Don't die when you're massively powered up. Don't be so silly. Oh, gosh. Um, so, yeah, so we just need one Sunstone. A lot of you were telling me we can't do the trick anymore where we stack a Celestial Shell and a... What's the other thing? A Celestial Stone. So, I need to be careful with that. So, I'll just show one or two quick golem battles. And we'll see if we get what we need. So, I don't really need potions and stuff as much. Oh, I should really sell them, though. You silly happy. What are you doing? Don't throw away money. What are you doing? All right, let's open this one up. Three, two, one. Boom. No, not a golem fist. I don't want golem fists. I don't like them. So, I'll farm the rest of these. We'll see if we get our sunstone. And we're one step closer to Empress of Light. I'm so excited for the fight. It's going to be amazing. Let's go. 
Oh my gosh, it's a windy day. It's time to fly the giant fish again. <laughs> I so suck at flying these things, but it's so fun. It's just like random and fun. I should collect all the different kites. I think is there, I'm pretty sure there's a wyvern kite, but I'm not sure how to get it. I would assume it drops from a wyvern, but anyway. So while I'm flying the kite, we finished farming some golems uh, and I managed, I remembered to bring the altar back. So what we'll do, let's spam open our... I don't need that random mushroom. Uh, uh, let's open our treasure bags. Hopefully we get a sunstone. Are you ready? Three, two, one. Boom, 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 boom. Did I get one? Yes. Oh, beautiful. Also, you've got menacing. Uh, so let's put all the loot in the golem box. Uh, and I'll take this with me uh, because we have a few upgrades that we can get our hands on. So let's uh, get on our boat. And we need to head to the Indigo Quarry underground. And I know we haven't finished naming all our towns yet either. Uh, maybe we can do another one today. So we have a few upgrades available. So if you remember in the last episode, I just needed to find some climbing claws. Uh, so we can make Tiger Climbing Gear. So we can actually make Master Ninja Gear, which will be an upgrade to our Shit of Cthulhu. Uh, then I can make a Moon Shell. And then a Celestial Stone. Uh, and then I should be able to make, yep, Celestial Shell which I might swap with our Star Veil, Star Cloak. Uh, that's a pretty good upgrade. And then from there... Oh, yeah, you guys were telling me. I totally forgot. There's new boots. You can upgrade Frostbark boots. So I had to go get Lava Charm, and I think you make this with Water Walking and an Obsidian Skull. So let's make that. Check it out. They're called Terra Spark boots. It's kind of like the Terra Blade, which is awesome. Uh, and it makes you, like, fast and all that good stuff. Which, my, which I didn't seem too fast just then, but you know what I mean, okay? It should help out. That's what I'm saying. So what we're going to do is, it's now, oh, I can't reforge my kite. Uh, we now need to, I'm so tongue-tied. Uh, what we need to do is get best modifiers on everything, and then we'll set up an arena for the uh, Empress of Light and do the battle. So let's zoom ahead and uh, let's get the battle underway. Oh my gosh, guys, it's almost night time. It is almost time for our big glorious battle. And I've set up the arena. Oh, I should set my spawn point quickly. Hang on. Just in case the unfortunate happens and we get destroyed. So I've set up the arena where we fought the Queen Slime. And I've got a box with my loadouts in it. Uh, and then we made a little treasure station for Empress. And all I've done is, again, I've set up the heart statues. Good regen. And I've made a really long uh, platform that goes over the ocean because I know this is one of those fights that you need to run around a bit like a crazy chicken so I think that should help out quite a bit now for loadout for this fight I think I'm gonna try Ranger first um and let's see I think I'll, I'll try with Ranger because we got Tsunami which is a pretty good weapon uh so let's put yeah okay we got all that maybe we can try melee okay so it's night time now and I have to make sure I'm near our biome block or the butterfly will run away. So let's put it there. So we need to release a butterfly. And then we kill it. Oh, <gasps> yes, here we go. Buffs on, guys. It's Empress time. Oh, my goodness. Here we go. Wow. Whoa. Whoa. No, 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 no. I should have zoomed out. I, sh I so should have zoomed out. This is crazy. Okay, so she does a dash attack. Oh, no. This is, this, this is going a bit crazy. All right, let's get on our boat beautiful and this is why i made a nice run long way i'm like yeah we're probably gonna need it no this is like the little dodgy attack thing ah they get stuck in the ocean happy they get stuck <laughs> oh no I, I i don't know how this is gonna go guys it's looking a bit sad so far um so all oh, goodness okay so she she alternates between different attacks and i think this is where our master ninja gear is gonna help out quite a bit yeah i'm getting i'm getting pretty destroyed here Okay, uh, it's not too bad though. It's not too bad. I wonder if my tactical shotgun would help. Okay, it probably won't do enough damage though. All right, dodge the swords, Happy. Dodge the swords. Don't die. Okay, uh, yeah, that's hardly doing any damage. I think she's got a really high armor score, um, so I need to be careful of that as well. Okay, this is probably a good attack to try and get a few hits in, because she really slows down a bit. All right, getting some uh, hearts for Happy there. I, I, I don't think I have any chance of getting my... Um, my honey it's pretty hard i don't i really don't want to stop moving to uh get the honey so all right beautiful no this is this is the hard attack to dodge <gasps> no <laughs> that's the really hard part if you try the day battle as well because yeah those swords just instantly kill you oh, oh 
we're getting so no happy he got stuck I got stuck. I need to zoom out. I need to zoom out. <laughs> okay, we, we kind of got destroyed pretty bad there. But, you know, failing is part of learning, guys. So I decided to use the opportunity. It's actually the next night now to set up our arena a bit more. So what I did is I swapped in for the shrimpy truffle. And I went to the party girl and bought bubbles. Uh, so I can put honey in the air. Uh, and this way I can just fly through it with the shrimpy truffle. Plus you get a damage boost from that. So that may help out quite a bit so let's get rid of that crazy eyeball let's get our buffs on okay i've got too many buffs i need to get rid of my pets there we go that's better it's unfortunate you can't have unlimited buffs but oh well all right so we need to release another beautiful butterfly here we go we need to kill the butterfly and now hopefully we're ready this time so being zoomed out is going to help out quite a bit i should have removed the old old thingies they're in the way oh well it's all good we're gonna we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna do all right i think um so here we go so being zoomed out is going to help so much oh my goodness so there we go let's just fly through here so i can even dip into the water and get a bit of uh, a speed boost from that as well so honey makes me faster water makes me faster uh, it's really nice indeed. Okay, beautiful. Uh, oh, my shine wore off. Okay, fallen star just out of random. All right, here we go. So beautiful. So yeah, this is a lot easier. With the honey buff, uh, it makes the fish run nice and fast. Also gives, I think it's 15% damage boost, which is nothing to like sneeze about. Uh, probably the only thing I could have done better is maybe get a magic quiver. Uh, for an extra, I think it's 20% damage, but that's okay. We're just practicing. Oh, no, my fish on. I've got too many buffs. I've got too many buffs, people. There's too much buffage. It's out of control. Oh, no, I'm going slow. No happy, no. Oh, how, how am I messing up so bad? Okay, there we go. Beautiful. So I think she's about, she's got two forms, I'm pretty sure. Uh, it's, it's not like an enrage, but she attacks quicker or something. Yeah, check it out. She's like more purpley or something. <gasps> no, no, these silly honey blocks. They're getting in the way with the sunflowers. I don't need them. Ah! I thought I would just run, but I don't know. But anyway, so it's going pretty good. It is a little bit hard to aim and focus on where I'm going at the same time. But we are doing a little bit better. We had a close call before. I'm definitely going to need to get back in that. Oh, yes. Quick, quick, quick. Happy, quick. Quick, run away. Woo! All right, here we go. I need some more honey for happy. Beautiful. Let's avoid these dagger thingies. I probably need a rod of discord as well, but I don't know. We'll do what we can. Okay, don't hit the stuff happy. Don't hit the hit the honey though. Oh, goodness. Okay, she's getting low, guys. She's getting low. Ouch, 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 ouch. Ooh, so we will try the other classes as well. I just kind of want to get one win under our belt and then we can like mess around. Oh, goodness. I shouldn't have... Why did I stop moving? Why did you stop happy? I just want to sort of get one win under our belt, and then we can, like, play around a bit. Ooh, ow, 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 ow. <laughs> Stay away from me, you crazy empress. All right, what's she down to? I think she's getting low, guys. Ooh, okay, try not to fly over the top of her. That was not a good idea. Okay, I think she's getting low. She must be getting low. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. Yes, she's standing still. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, we did it. Yes. Oh, my goodness. <gasps> I think we got... What did we get? We got stuff. <laughs> we got stuff. <laughs> we got our beautiful relic. We've defeated the Empress of Light. I don't need the stars right now. Summons a fairy princess to provide light. Oh, that's like the new... Okay. So we got a beautiful fairy. I'll just take my helmet off so we can have a look. Ah, very nice indeed. And what's the tooltip? The light of the fair folk illuminates all. That's pretty cool. And we got our treasure bag. I don't know what we're hoping for. There's lots of new stuff you can get. Are you ready? Three, two, one, boom! I got the legendary. We got the best modifier straight away. Check it out. This is going to be great for invasions. <gasps> so good. And this one gives you infinite wing time and rocket boot flight. So if you didn't want to fight on a mount, you could use that instead. Which might be useful. Might be useful. I don't know. We can probably give it a go. So what I might do is let's... Is it how, what's the time? Oh, we still got a couple of minutes. So, oh, or should I just wait for the next night? I think we'll wait for the next night because I need to re-equip and everything. We might try mage or melee. Let's try melee next. We'll go for melee, guys. Uh, so we'll get our yo-yo bag and that. And we've got our new starlight, which I don't know is going to be very useful. But we'll try it. So we'll wait for the next night and we'll have another go. Beautiful. No, no, happy, no. I think I'm going to die. I think I'm going to die, guys. Oh, no. Oh, another tombstone for the collection. Don't die at the end. Don't. Come on. Come on. Not like this. Not like this. All right. I want to use my bubble gun for a bit. Oh, no, no. Bad time to swap. 
Okay, here we go. Beautiful. Got a shine potion on. Lovely. Let's just get away from all the crazy. <gasps> She's getting low. Are we going to do it? Are we actually going to beat her? All right. Come, come. Get, run into the bubbles. Stop it. I think there's certain... <gasps> no, I'm almost dead. No, 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 no. Don't kill me. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No. 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 Yes, we did it. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I had to go past our graveyard town for that one. Empress of Light. Okay, we got another Light Relic. All right, let's just teleport back to our spawn point. Oh, okay. Mage is pretty good. Range is okay. Um, melee, I think I need to work on the strategy a bit. So let's... We don't need that at the moment. Oh, I should have swapped to Spectre Wood. Whoops. <laughs> if I died, I know there would have been a million comments saying that. So, all right. Let's open our treasure bag. Three, two, one. Boom. Ooh, we got some of the... We got the mask. Okay, that's kind of fun. Uh, prismatic dye, godly night glow. Wow. Oh, that's her. Um, actually, that might be kind of useful against her. That's kind of good because it like, hang on, you can just spam it, and then they kind of. I kind of want to try one quickly. Can we do it? Come on, you guys don't mind, do you? Let's um, let's just try it. I want to see how that actually goes against her. All right. I reckon this because it's just gonna like target her. Yeah, check it out. <gasps> This is so good. Oh my gosh. It's like Razorblade Typhoon, but like a little bit stronger. And yeah, I died. <laughs> I think it's dead. It got to daytime, so she did the instant kill on me. I tried to beat her, but no. Nah. <laughs> okay, people. We've set up an asphalt runway. And I can't even talk. There's all oh, there's werewolves everywhere. Okay, let's get up here. I think I'm still in the hollow biome, so we're gonna... Have I got... I made a mana flower. So we're gonna get a butterfly up. Let's uh, do that. Then we're gonna destroy it. Okay, quick. Quick, get the butterfly! And I can't hurt her for another couple of seconds, so... Alright, so let's just run for our lives. Okay, so now it's morning. I can attack. Okay, and if she hits me, I instantly die. So, yeah, this is kind of scary. <gasps> no, I need to be on the other side. It's not long enough. Okay, let's run this way. Yep, beautiful, beautiful. So, I reforged our Night Glow to Mythical uh, because I thought that's going to do some nice homing attacks. Just keep moving, Happy. Just keep moving. Ooh, no, this is where I'm going to die. Oh, 38,000 damage. Are you for real? Ooh. Okay, okay. Maybe one more go. I'm really enjoying this fight. It's such a good challenge. So, okay. It's almost time, so let's get the butterfly out. Let's get it summoned. No, hit the butterfly, Happy, you crazy chicken. All right, here she comes. Okay, so it's daytime, which means she's doing max damage. So what I actually did was extend my runway a little bit. Okay, so just so I've got a bit more uh, room to run around in. So you generally want to stop when she does the big star attack, but then the rest of the time, you just want to run for your life, pretty much. She keeps up with you pretty easily, so... Yeah, you just want to run for it. And I noticed during this attack, if it looks like you're going to die, but if you just keep moving, they just miss you. So that's not too bad. Uh, let's see. So, but the rest of the time, it's just like full steam ahead running, except for this. All right. I think the hard part is going to be when she goes to her second form, because I think she changes the pattern of her attacks a little bit. So yeah, as you can see, I dug out through here. So I had a little bit more room to run. And yeah, this is the scary part. You've just gotta you just gotta believe that you're gonna avoid them for the most part. So yeah. Anyway, I think she's about to go second form, so let's just keep running. Alright. Oh goodness, goodness, goodness. Oh goodness! Ah! <laughs> They're everywhere. Oh no! Oh. I think she has new attacks now too. Yeah, here, here comes a thingy. No, no, there's things on the ground. Oh, run happy, run! Oh, okay, I can stop. She's doing that. Beautiful, beautiful. Okay, and now I need to run the other way. No, I'm, I'm going too slow. No! Oh, come on. We were so close. Ah, I need Discord.
Oh my god. Oh my god. We beat her in the daytime, guys. We beat her in the daytime. There's the Terra Prisma. <gasps> we did it. Oh my god. We did it. Yes. I can't believe it. Oh my god. Oh, that fight is crazy. I didn't want to give up. I'm like, I am not giving up. No way. And we got rewarded, guys, with the Terra Prisma. Oh my gosh. Wow, that fight is crazy. It's a really interesting fight. I might do a guide on it. Um, it, it, it you f sort of get into this pattern. I, I'll probably edit some tips in during the video, but wow, that is just not. Oh my gosh. Such a cool boss battle. The Asphalt Runway helps out so much, though. Oh, and now we have Terra Prisma. This is insane. I've always wanted to try. I tell you what we might do. Let's open our treasure bag first while I'm, while I'm still going a bit crazy here. Oh, let's just put some of this stuff away. Okay, don't need the gel. All right, beautiful. Let's open our treasure bag. Let's see what we get. Three, two, one, boom. Okay, oh, yes, we got the kaleidoscope as well. We're going summon insane here. Oh, my goodness. So what we might do, just quickly, uh, we will play around with this a lot more in our next episode, but let's cancel our spawn point. And let's take, let's take our adventure back to, you know, all the NPCs are dead from the fight. No, <laughs> I can't go back. I wanted to try out the Tiki armor. Oh, I can probably just magic mirror. Hang on. There we go. So there we go. So let's get on our Tiki armor. I don't know. Can you get more than one Terra Prisma? Is this my summoner? All right, let's put on the Tiki set. Can I have more swords? You can have more swords. Oh my god. You can have lots of swords. This is so cool. Oh wow. Oh my gosh, guys. This is insane. I can't wait to try this out on some enemies and bosses and all that good stuff. Look at all our Terra Prismas. But what we'll do, we'll do a lot of that in the next episode. This has been a long one already. But guys, thank you so much. Smash the like button for beating Empress of Light on master mode i can't believe it this night glow is insane uh, i mentioned discord a lot in this episode links in the description why don't you come and join our discord we've got an awesome mod team uh they're lots of fun we've got some cool games on our server and uh yeah make sure to subscribe to this series i'm having so much fun guys we've got our terra prisma we're gonna play with swords next episode it's gonna be amazing and here's the most important part as always you'll stay happy and i'll see you soon this is happy days signing out see ya